hi guys my name is Laura and I'm the Specky Seamstress welcome back to my channel today I've got a really exciting video for you because me and Tamlin from Sewn on the Tyne who I will link all the details below um, have done a fabric swap and uh, I'm here to tell you all about what she sent me and what I'm going to make so through the sewing vlogger support group on Facebook which I think you might have heard a few vloggers talk about now and it's where the so many questions tag uh, came from. Me and Tamlin got chatting about this idea of swapping some fabric that was in our stash and uh, seeing what the other one would make with it and um, we talked specifically about fabric that we'd been unsure about cutting or unsure about what to make, stuff that had been in our stash a little while um, and I sort of said to Tamlin it would be really nice if we could swap some scraps or some smaller pieces um, of fabric that we just hadn't quite kind of worked out what to make with. So, my parcel arrived from Tamlin, super exciting. She sent me this lovely note and it says, you are ace. Now I was a terrible swap because I did not include a note. I had written a note, but I forgot to send it. Terrible, Laura. <laughs> um, but it was really cute. She says, I love watching your channel. So it's exciting to work on something together, which is cute. And uh, I should say super cute, no Tamlin, <laughs> really, that's her phrase of choice. So she tells me a little bit about the fabric she sent me, so let me show you. Now there's only a little bit left of this because I have already cut it. <laughs> this is um, leftover cotton jersey glow in the dark from one cat lover to another. Hopefully you'll be able to add this into a garment. <laughs> And it's a really lovely jersey. It's lovely and soft. I always think with some of these like glow in the dark or metallic or foiled or whatever that they're going to be a little bit like stiffer jersey. But this is really, really lovely. And like I said, I've already cut this out and I'll show you in a minute what I'm making. Um, then she sent me this. Now I squealed when this came out of the uh, parcel that Tamlin had sent me. This is... Do you see it? I'm going to give you a minute. It's Triceratops! Look! And this is probably my favourite fabric that I've never bought. I see it on Instagram all the time because it's an art gallery fabric and I love a dinosaur print, as we all well know. And I'm not a big pink girl. And I've always looked at this and thought, oh, if they did that in a blue or a teal... But I do absolutely love it. And I'm branching out with my colour a little bit at the minute. And this is just so perfect. I literally squealed. I had a friend staying and she um, had no idea what I'd received in the post because I was I was like so excited about it. Um, it's absolutely perfect. And I said to Tamla that it's like my favourite fabric. Um, she said, I know you're a lover of a dinosaur print. I love this fabric, but I just haven't sewn it up yet and feel it's going to waste. Please make it into something wonderful. No pressure. Um, I'm not quite sure what to make with that. Now, my mind immediately went to a So Many Dresses, So Little Time bodice dress because two metres is enough for that with a gathered skirt or a pleated skirt and it would be a lovely dress would I wear a dinosaur dress very often? I'm trying to walk the line of novelty versus quirky at the minute and I do think that some of my more graphic prints work better as a separate or even two separates um, than it does as a dress. So like I could make a top to wear with jeans or I could make oh, the Winslow Colorts which I keep saying um, but that would be really cute or a little skirt or something i'm not quite sure about that one yet and then this one is the final fabric she sent me um batik cotton and she's put i know you love a funky print and i love this color this like bright sort of turquoise it's really cool it sort of reminds me of like a holiday <laughs> i think and there's a meter of this and i'm not quite sure what to make with this yet i think it's a beautiful cotton, it's quite lightweight. It's got some drape to it. And it really is like, it's got beach vibes, isn't it? I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure yet on that one, but look at the beautiful colors. So thank you so much, Tamlin, for sending me these. They're beautiful. Um, 
and I can't wait to get sewing with them. So I will check in the next time you see me will be hopefully with some of these made into garments. I am back and I'm wearing dinosaurs. Today is a good day. As you can tell, I've got a cold, which is really frustrating, but I am here anyway, and the dinosaurs are cheering me up. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've made with the fabrics that Tamlin sent me. Now I have one completed garment, which I'm wearing, one in progress garment, and one fabric that I'd still like some help with and some ideas for what to make. So shall we start with what I'm wearing? I decided eventually <laughs> on the Colette Aster for the dinosaurs. Now let me get up and show you, but I will insert some pictures. It's a, a shirt I've made before and I do like the style of it. I think that the fact it doesn't have a collar makes it quite casual. The neckline's laying a little bit funny, but it's nothing a good press won't fix. I uh, literally just got this off the sewing machine, so <laughs> sorry. Um, I really like the kind of cuffed sleeves as well, which make it a little bit casual. I'm not actually sure if the cuff sleeves are on the pattern or if I just made that up, but I like them, so <laughs> that's good. Um, and I've put these really cute, they're just grey buttons, but I think they go really well. And I have the perfect thread how perfect is that um and yeah I'm really happy with it I think I <laughs> when I first put this on I said that this was just off the sewing machine that is sort of true it's the morning after the night before I stayed up uh, reasonably late sewing this and I put it on and I sort of called my husband down and said Nick what do you think of this because my heart sank that Tamla had asked me to make something wonderful and I'd, um, I'd ruined this lovely fabric but the next day I am much much happier with it I really like the style of the Asta it's it's not too fitted but it isn't too blousy it's not too kind of big <laughs> around um uh, sort of under the bust um but also i think now i've got the fit right at the shoulders and the and the br the brust <laughs> that's a new one and the bust i feel like it kind of really looks quite sort of fitted which is which is nice um i didn't pattern match at the front now i'm not a big pattern matcher i did think i'd done slightly better than this i thought that i was gonna have um them at the same level but obviously they're offset um and i'm not <sighs> i know judge me at your will because i'm sure that many of you out there would not have made this like this and you would have said it needs to be pattern matched but to be honest the aster is quite a fabric hungry top really the sleeves are quite um quite wide and this actually took the sleeves actually take up almost the whole width of the fabric so and when I did call my husband down he was like oh, dinosaurs amazing so you know <laughs> he, he doesn't care about the pattern matching um I like that the sleeves go in really well on this pattern I find they look huge they look so wide and you think how are they going to go in but they do and the darts fall at a nice place as well they're probably just slightly high um but I quite quite like the darts in this pattern um so yeah pretty happy with this i sew the size 18 in the aster and i take a wedge out of the back yoke but only at the top at the neckline not at the bottom and i take a wedge out of each of the shoulders which is fairly standard for me i seem to have black shoulders rather than slopey shoulders and um, so i take a wedge in that goes from the shoulder point sorry from the like point that meets the sleeve up to the neckline um because otherwise this gapes really really badly <laughs> um and that's the only alterations i make i think i made a bit of a mistake on the button placket and they weren't if the button placket wasn't as wide as it should have been but i'm not 100 percent sure why on this one um but yeah i think it's cute i'm gonna add in a couple of pictures here um i think i can see myself styling this with a roll neck frayer 
long sleeves little black tube skirt and thick tights and boots in the winter i don't know how i could have said that sentence with how hot it's been in the uk this week without kind of combusting but i think that's how i'm quite keen to style it i also quite like it the the bottom three buttons undone and tied up um sort of as a cropped shirt as well so hopefully future laura is putting in photos of these things now <laughs> Shall I show you the next thing? This is my in progress. Now, I said when I first unpackaged the fabric that I had already cut this cat jersey up and I thought immediately I want to make a Joni dress where the top is the cats and then the bottom is a different colour fabric. And I went through all of my plain jerseys with my husband and via photos on WhatsApp to various people um, to ask for help for what fabric I should pick. And we chose this purple, um, which is just a cheap purple ponty that I got in Col on, on Colville Fabrics from Facebook. Um, and I made it up. I literally only had enough to make the, the front bodice, not the sleeves and not the back. And I made it up quite merrily. I attached the sleeves in purple. And when I tried it on... It just didn't look right i'm gonna put in some pictures here and you tell me what you think um it just it just wasn't right something about it was off so i unpicked the sleeves and then uh, has anyone made a sleeveless joni i think that that's what this needs if it's gonna have a big purple skirt i think it needs to be sleeveless i'm gonna i'm gonna hopefully have put in some pictures of this because i, I don't think the joni looks very impressive whole Folded. <sighs> come on laura find your words um held up like this but i think it looks good on so hopefully i've put in some pictures of uh, me wearing this half completed i'd love to know what you think did you think the purple sleeves were okay do you think i should get some plain gray to match this for sleeves yeah i'm interested to know your thoughts on how i should be finishing that up because it shouldn't take me very long to finish once I've made a decision. So if your powers of deduction are strong, or at least not weak, <laughs> you'll know that this is the fabric that I've not cut into yet. This beautiful batik cotton, which is so lovely. I can't work out what to make with it. I have a meter and I don't know, what do you think? I am tempted, if you've seen me on Instagram recently, I've been pattern testing a new pattern um, for So Altered Style, which is a cami top. And it's really nice. It's got kind of quite a deep, quite a deep V, um, big wide straps that then go into sort of smaller straps at the back. And there's a cross strap option as well. And there's going to be a video coming out really soon about those. <laughs> um, yeah, what do you think? Cami top would be quite cute for summer. Could try and make the Morning Glory top from Sar Kristen. That would be quite cute um, in the summer. What do you think? It's uh, it's not particularly wide. I think it's 110 centimetres. So um, what are your top one metre patterns? Because I think that's a good thing to know and something I'm not quite there with yet. I don't have that many patterns that I know I can get from a metre. Um, so yeah, would love to know what you think. I'd like to say a huge thank you to Tamlin. It's been so lovely swapping fabrics with you. Head over to her channel, see what fabrics I sent her in a swap and see what she's made. I am so jealous of what she's made. <laughs> so enjoy her video. I hope you've enjoyed mine. Um, please press the subscribe button if you haven't already and I will see you next time.